Hi guys! I'm back with more Sharpie nails. Apparently you can't teach an old dog new tricks. If it were up to me, I would be doing Sharpie nails every single week. So if you guys are liking them, please comment down below and I will happily oblige. If not, just comment too. You could say something like, learn something new, you one trick pony. Which by the way, one trick pony would be a amazing polish name. Feel free to use it if any makers are watching this. Please, actually make it, please, I want it. So for this Sharpie Manny, I did something a little different this time and I went for a sort of stone marble look. And then I slapped on some water decals on top of it and I learned a very valuable lesson when it comes to water decals, so stay tuned for that. And I'll shut up now. Here is everything you'll need to complete this look. Sinful color Snow Me White. Orly Vintage, love this color. And Shine On Crazy Diamond. It's kind of like China Glaze Fairy Dust. Water decals from shopkiki.com. Obviously some Sharpies. 91% isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Now every time I use this, people ask me where to get it and in the States you get it at any drugstore, but apparently overseas it's known as something different. For instance, in the UK it's known as surgical spirits, so ask for that at your drugstore. Also from Shop Kiki, glue to help the water decals adhere better. Not necessary though. And let me just take a minute to thank Shop Kiki for sending me all of these water decals. Like how i can't even use these oh my god look at these emojis if you've ever used water decals before i definitely recommend you check out shop kiki because the designs are so adorable and there's like five a billion and one designs Okay, and before I actually start painting my nails and lose the ability to do anything because my nails are wet, I like to cut out my water decals first. It just makes life a little bit easier. Now you wanna make sure that you cut off the black portion because anything that is colored will transfer onto your nails. So you only want the image and the background of the image. Does that make sense? For my last Sharpie Mini, I used wax paper and the isopropyl rubbing alcohol ends up leaking through the wax paper and it ruined my glitter paper, so I came up with something else. This is just um, a piece of my uh, China Glaze Light Brights uh, box that the polish came in. Um, I'm going to use that as sort of like a paint palette. So I color on the Sharpies onto the plastic. And then later I can pick up the Sharpie with a brush dipped in the rubbing alcohol. Okay, now that our prep is done, we can really start. I painted um, two coats of Orly Vintage onto my ring nail, and in person, it's a little bit deeper. Uh, it's kind of showing a little more pastel here, but this is a gorgeous color. The formula was good, but not great, but good. And then on the rest of my nails, I painted simple colors, Snow Me White. I used two coats and this is a really good cheap white polish to use for a base for nail art. Uh, I get them at Walgreens for like $1.99 and they regularly do 99 cents specials. So I recommend getting this if you're in need of a white polish. And you're like, I only have $2. Well, here you go. Then to protect my skin from staining from the Sharpies, I used Glistening Glows Control Alt Delete Liquid Latex Barrier. As you can see, it is a bright pink. I love that about it. And it's also scented in her famous scent, uh, White Sangria Peach or Sangria White Peach, whatever, it smells great. And here I used a little Dapen dish, I believe it's called. It's just like a nail art glass dish that you can get on eBay for like a dollar. And I put my rubbing alcohol in it and then I can pick up the Sharpie with my Twinkled Tea brush. And finally, it's Sharpie time. Now, I was a little surprised by this, what I thought was a mint colored Sharpie. Do you see that it's yellow? I mean, you saw um, the plastic piece that it was clearly mint colored, but something with the alcohol and maybe layering it over the white, it just brought out the yellow pigments from the Sharpie. I was a little bit of a sad panda here because I really wanted mint and blue nails, but I still like this and I just went with it. I really should have tested it maybe. Anyways, as you can see here, I am layering the Sharpie in sort of a striped pattern to try to get that marble look. 
the more you layer go back by dipping into the alcohol dipping into the sharpie you'll get more of a textured effect um, so the key here is to layer let it dry drag dip it dash it dot it do whatever you got to do to get that pattern once i was satisfied with my mint color excuse me my yellow green sharpie color i came back in with the blue and layered that over the white spots now the blue sharpie is a much more pigmented sharpie so as you can see you can kind of get a lot of a darker color uh, darker layering going on and then i started to just go back and forth i think i added a little bit more of the mint sharpie to it and just kind of added some splotches and i think this looks like marble maybe abstract marble just paint until you're happy once i was satisfied i peeled off my glisten and glow control alt delete and look at nothing on my skin now people usually ask me if the sharpie will stain upon removal and i have not experienced that it doesn't stain my skin and it doesn't stain my nails now if you used like black and put a lot on there maybe it wouldn't then but i haven't tried that and here I'm applying a little bit of the water decal glue. Um, I just wanted to try it, but in my experience, I have found that I haven't needed anything to help the decals attach. Then I use a little shot glass and fill it with water and dip my decal into the water. And it only takes about maybe 10 seconds before it will slide off of the paper. Hence why these are called water decals. And here I use my tweezers to help hold the decal. Place the wet decal onto your nail and the beauty of these is while they're wet they are slightly repositionable so they slide around once they dry is when they stick. So to help soak up the water after I get it positioned how I want I just use um, a leftover makeup sponge from a previous gradient mani and soak up the water that way. And it's on. See how easy that is? These are great for beginners. Moving on to the next decal, this is the cute one with the little feathers, and remember when I said I learned a valuable lesson when it comes to water decals? Well, I placed this one onto my Sharpie nail, and I debated for probably five minutes before I applied this. Should I apply a top coat? Should I not apply a top coat? Moral of the story, I should have applied a top coat. As you can see, I think the residue of the Sharpies and the alcohol dissolved some of the ink on the decal. So it's smeared a little bit. Now it's not super noticeable in person, but you can definitely see it on camera. I do not fault the decals at all because simply using a top coat before I applied the decal onto the nail would have solved this issue and I wouldn't be here whining and complaining to you about it. As you can see, this one didn't smear and that's because I just used it over regular polish. Now, to seal in the decals, all you gotta do is apply top coat. Here I'm using Glisten and Glow HK Girl Top Coat. You'll see me use it in basically every single Manny because I love it and I haven't found anything better in probably the four years since I started using it. And that is it. Here we have Marble Sharpie Feather Dream Big. Manny, I don't know, what should I call this? Beautiful was the correct answer. So what did we learn this Manny? Water decals are super easy to use and great for beginners. And I feel like sometimes they look like stamping. So if you don't want to take the leap into stamping and you just want something easy, these are your go-to. We also learned that you need to use a top coat over a Sharpie Manny if you want to apply water decals over it. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I actually hit a thousand subscribers last night and I was like, oh my God, I felt like it was Instagram all over again. Instagram sucks. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this and you can follow me on Snapchat and stupid Instagram at twy underscore star. Thanks guys. I'll see you later. Bye.